welcome to episode, is this four or five? I think it's four. Four. It's very annoying with those weeks we took off. It's four. Of, of the Iconoclastic Wrestling Podcast, I'm Iconoclast. Wait, you're not going to introduce me? Should you introduce yourself? And I, I'd be like primetime uh, wrestling. I'm your host, Gorilla Machin. And I'm your host, Bobby the Brain Eater. And I am Dick Taco, the purveyor of this channel. And, okay, we got, and let's go over this week in wrestling. So, yeah. what should we start with? The releases? Well, hold on. Let me go to my format here. Every good broadcast journalist has to have a format. I don't think we'd call it. I have, we, call it we I have the releases on there, too. I think this is my format right here. So, I think we Okay, gonna, so let's talk about right, Dynamite Grand Let's go. Slam. You want to you do that first? Because Dynamite Grand Slam, they were hyping that up to be really, really good. Okay, well, let me just get the card up here. I so watched I, part of it. I did not see it all, but I have kept up on it and read about it. But I have some problems with some of the decisions that were made. Okay, um, MJF, oh wait, so let me start with the matches that I saw, because I did not see all of these, because okay. I, was, I, was, I was doing schoolwork. I'm sure. Uh, so we got Claudio Castagnoli versus Eddie Kingston was the opening match. That was the opener? Yeah. These I guys, watched the highlights of that on YouTube. And those guys left it all on the table. They beat the shit out of each other. Which they've been doing for the last 15 years. So. Yeah, and then at the end, Claudio shook his hand. I'm they, glad they shook the hand. I'm glad. Because it was the idea that they both said, this is where it ends for them. That finally... Said he stood, Eddie said he still doesn't like them, but... It's, it's, it's the done. end of their it's rivalry. Like it's it's yeah. the end of their rivalry. No cage match needed for the end of this program. But, I mean, they beat the tar Well, those out are of two them. guys, like... I've seen more of Claudia. I used to watch more of Eddie years ago in like Chikara and in Combat Zone. That's why. I, that's why I didn't really care for him because, <clears throat> pardon me, God. Combat Zone is like a niche wrestling thing, as you could tell from some of that drac I've made you watch. Yeah, that's <clears throat> where Nick Gage got uh, big, right? Yeah, Nick Gage. He's the most famous deathmatch wrestler ever. It took him twenty five years to get a nationally televised match, and all he did was make him lose a fucking sponsor. Yeah, the pizza cutter. Which they need to get fucked. Dom- was it Domino's or Pizza Hut? It was Domino's, wasn't it? I was not watching them. I remember reading about it, but like they need to get fucked. Because it's not like it said the name of the company on the pizza slicer. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Uh, but So that was a really good match. Eddie Kingston is now the Ring of Honor. This might be his first ever world championship. Or I like- think so. Yeah, like of one of any kind of prestige. If he was champion... Jakar, I don't remember what titles it. Jakar was big on that trios. Yeah, because when I went, Phil and I went to that rest that Ring of Honor show. Jakar, King of the Super Trios, or whatever it was called, the King of Trios tournament was also going to be up there. There was like a wrestling thing every day that week. Well, because I remember that watching that it was Claudio Danielson and someone else versus Mike Quackenbush and two others. Oh yeah, I have that uh, match on one of those DVDs. Yeah, I know you gave it to me. Yeah, because you wanted to see something. With, it was with the Dados and stuff, right? Yes. That, uh, okay. Then we had John Moxley versus Ray Phoenix. I did not watch this, but Moxley got hurt. I'm I'm I'm, sh- I'm sure it has nothing to do with the style he wrestles either. No, it does not have anything to do with the style he wrestles. How do you know if you didn't watch it? I saw the injury. I heard he got injured. How? How? What kind of injury are we talking? About? Um. Ray Phoenix, they were up on the top rope. Ray Phoenix, who you get, is a high flyer, one of the best. They did like this. Last he was probably just high. <laughs> no, he's not, sober. I know, it's a joke. But he went and um, I it was funny. they did like, not a Canadian destroyer. It was some kind of like move off the top rope where Moxley's head got spiked on what, the he mat. Stinger? What? What, he did a stinger? Maybe. Uh, I don't have momentarily, a video. Momentarily, momentarily, you know, loss of feeling in the limbs and stuff. No, but because then... Having lost it against Owen Hart. Here well, because then he was down there, and then the referee was counting, and he counted to two, and then he just stopped. But well, Moxie did. didn't kick the out. Up. He put the X up like he was really hurt or something. Well, no, because they don't do that because everyone knows what that means now. So they yeah, have they did other... it for years until everybody figured it out. Which but now they just I have... commend them for not doing it if people are figuring it out. Because now they just have different signals that we don't know, I'm sure. Good, good. Um, and also, you didn't really see it because like, as as soon... And like after that happened, Ray Phoenix did the move again. So That's kind of shitty. Uh Oh, yeah, I don't know if that was Ray Phoenix's fault. I don't know if it's the I referees. I mean, Ray Phoenix... Let me ask you this. I'm not saying anything bad about the guy, but does Ray Phoenix speak English? Or we don't know. 
Because if he does it, and it's not a tag match with somebody else that does speak maybe English and Spanish, there could be a problem. With no, no, no. He speaks... All right. Well, that's what I'm asking. He's got a heavy accent, but he speaks... Well, that's what I'm asking, because if you can't communicate in the ring... Well, that's the problem that Japan has a lot of the time. Well, yeah. Well, then uh, some of the guys they're rolling out, like lately, like at Forbidden Door, like Tanahashi. Kind of hobbled, should have been. Okay, well, we'll talk about them later in the show. Uh, right. New Japan. Gotta keep me on task here. Uh, okay, um, Soraya versus Tony Storm. I know you don't care about I that. I heard Tony Storm kissed her. Yes. And she went to the HR department with her pissed. What do you mean she went to the HR department? She wrote on Twitter, or X, whatever the fuck they call it now, since that nutball's in charge of it. She said she she tweeted in it and she went to HR about the kiss. So I guess that Megan's going to be busy with another problem here. But what is she bitching about a broad kissing her? She was banging two guys at a time. I mean, now we have to talk I have about to this. keep banging that drum. No pun intended. But, like, the girl's a... Quite frankly, a dick holster. And that, somebody, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. If, if no, you're right. Say, you're, you're, I'm just saying, like, oh, oh what? Oh what? You're gonna slut shame her and say that just because no, she slept really. with a bunch of guys? No, that doesn't that, make it okay. No, I'm not. I'm not one of those people. That I mean, you know, I just think different. it's odd to you know. I mean, it might be ironic, but all right, it's, we'll leave it at that then. And it's um, ironic. I mean, okay, I'm, I'm reading. But she here, won now, right? She uh, won. Soraya, yes, I'm reading here from Ringside News. Uh, do, 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 do you have any of her family there with her? Son? No, uh, God, you always make you always hate her family. Did you see them? <laughs> they looked like your comic. It's like Humpty Dumpty came to life with the, the father. <laughs> it, it's your common, you know, like British lower class, working class people. Ugh. During the match, there was a spot where Tony Storm. Okay, I'm reading here from Ringside News. Yeah, go ahead. Where Tony Storm kissed Soraya and then hit her with a pile driver. She gloated about her victory, and then she compl- uh, that she complained to HR about Tony's actions. Um, I like Tony's story. Is she Australian? Yes. Yeah. But she uh, but she moved to the UK at one point. Yeah. To wrestle because because uh, a lot of wrestlers like Rhea Ripley did that too, and Kyle is Fletcher. She Australian or is she New Zealand? I can't ever tell the difference with the accent. I don't know. Uh, the Butchwhackers were from New Zealand. Rhea Ripley might be from New Zealand. I don't know, but. The thing is that a lot of them, all the wrestlers that are from there, they all end up going to the UK. Sure. Because the UK's got a better scene. Osprey's uh, not Australian. He's British, right? Yes, he's yeah. British. He's from he's from Essex. Yes. That's why he's got the Essex Destroyer. Yes, I didn't know that. All I remember him doing was the Tiger Driver 98 on Caddy and I played Kill him for the door. So. Okay, now, I think this is kayfabe. But Go ahead. Spit it out, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I think. Well, she just says, like, and still your champ. Smiling face emoji. Happy one year to me. Tony, I can't believe you made me do that to you. Also, I spoke to HR directly after. Angry face emoji. What about the kissing you think? Yeah. I, no, well, no, well, the kiss happened. I saw No, no, I mean, you think it's like her, it's fake her bitching about it. I think it's a work, yeah. Because Tony Storm's whole gimmick right now is that after she lost the title, she, like, went crazy. So he's oh, like okay. insane. All right. I, I, I could see that then. So it's so it's kind of like a, like a Brian Pillman if he was an attractive woman gimmick. Wow, that's a big if. if Brian will he had a beard, you know. If Brian Pillman was an attractive woman, you just said. I mean, Brian Pillman was an attractive guy. Yeah, later on, not anymore. He's not. Well, he's dead. It's all bones now. But anyway, and his son's ugly as all yeah, get out. All bones. He's still got more talent than that kid is. Brian Pillman Jr. I remember reading some stupid article. That some schmuck wrote that saying that you know because there's all these rumors about how he's going to NXT. Yeah, that, he's already at the Performance Center. Yeah, or, and that you know, like so, anybody cares. It's not. But a big no, but I was going to say about how you know WWE can make him a star where AEW failed because they failed him. They didn't push him well enough. But I'm like, they shouldn't have pushed him when he was bad. They should have pushed him off a cliff. <laughs> he also had a mullet, like. Like, he looked like Sean... He had the same haircut Yeah, they put Sean. him with that fucking Griff Garrison. Jesus Yeah, Christ. I don't know if... I think Griff Garrison's still with the company, but he might be interested. He's like a top... He's like a top guy jobber or something now. He but is? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I saw him teaming with somebody not too long ago. Oh, yeah. He, he was with... Um, was he with Brock Anderson? Maybe. Remember Brock maybe. Anderson's arms kid, who's a jobber. Yeah. Uh, trained by Cody, actually. Yeah. Uh, 
Which, I mean, that's a pretty good... Now, Cody, you're talking... They, they, they are doing more with Cody in WWE than they did with him at AEW recently, well, at, towards the end. Well, because... They, they, they weren't doing anything with him after the Brody Lee... Well, DNA because kind of there was better people in the company than him. Yeah, but they're starting to get too many people, too. Like, when you, you bring these people over and you say they're going to be a star... In AEW, they got over 100 people on the roster now. Yeah, and they got three shows. Yeah, but I'm just They saying. got five hours of television. They got enough... Uh, do they still do... Are they doing house shows now? Uh, they do them, like, sporadically. Yeah, because you don't really need to anymore. With how much TV exposure you get, you don't need to go on the road. I've only ever heard of... 300 days a year. I mean, I've, 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 I've heard of them doing two. Like, the week? No, like, ever. I've, I've heard of them doing two shows. They did one in Cleveland. Yeah. Where Moxley main evented it. And they did one in Virginia. So it might be like they, they kind of like experiment with it and they like they see like the money coming from it and they're like, this isn't really worth the investment. House shows used to be where the guys got to practice. Like if you were in a program when a guy, like remember I told you I was converting my DVDs and I had Spectrum Wrestling February yeah. 89. If you watch this, it's the exact same card that you'll see at WrestleMania 5 two months later. Except for like a few matches, like. But see, then that sucks if you see that. But only the people in the New South Jersey, Phil, the Delaware Valley area but then, saw it. But then, but but like I'm saying that if you live in like South Jersey, Delaware Valley area, then WrestleMania Five sucks. Yeah, but they also yeah, but it didn't. But they also they did like the, the champs would never lose or something would happen. But it was just the guys like was well, WrestleMania Kevin Nash, who I'm going to get to later with a lot of piss and vinegar from me because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of hearing him. Um, the uh, Click Kevin Nash said it all the time when him and Scott Hall and Razor Ramon were having a feud he goes by the time we got to a pay-per-view we had touched about 65 times on the house show circuit but like, so you know what they're going to do yeah but eventually don't you get to the point where everybody in the markets knows what's going to happen well you would now if you did it that way if they tour but around not, like that yeah but not like 25 years ago yeah, the internet changed everything, the especially ruined, with wrestling. It ruined a lot of everything too. No, it, you're just saying that it ruins you're, movies. You're saying that because you're old. Yeah, but anything ruined. anything that happened before your first marriage in wrestling is terrible. What? Anything that happened? I got married in 2006 the first time. Yeah, so anything before? Was like, when, when was the second? 2012, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah 2012. I average a marriage every Wait. six years. Wait, I'm late. I'm late. <laughs> I should have got married. Christina and I got married in 18. But anyway. Yeah. I, I, I'd ask her, but I'm, I'm afraid she'd say no. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. You know, this is going up on the internet, right? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> um, doesn't matter. Any, uh, any, anything that's happened, anything people could do to me, it's been done to me already. I just have to tell you that. Okay. So, let's see. Would that... Yeah, go back to the car, because I'm running off with the mouth here. Okay. Uh... Chris Jericho versus Sammy Guevara, which I heard Sammy wore Chris's like WrestleMania nineteen touch yes. or something. Yes, which that's a good match him and Shawn Michaels. I I have not seen that. So like I have I don't know. I, if I ever, have it up there. It's a so I don't know if you've ever seen the meme and like and um you're gonna have to put the picture up on the screen when we do this. Have you ever seen the meme of like Homer Simpson where he's like thin, but then it it cuts to the back of him. And you see, like, he's got all these ropes, like, tying up his fat. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That's Jericho, right? Yeah, that's Jericho. Because, like, I was watching it, and he was wrestling, and you're like, oh, wow, he doesn't look too bad, you know? Like, look, it looks like he's thinned up. And and meanwhile, he's, he's got a girdle on. And no, and then you see his back, and he's just got all these, what'd you call them, bitties and cities? Yeah. Yeah, bitties and cities. Back titties and side titties. Yeah, he's got, he looks like... He's wearing spanks. <laughs> he's got all this... Fat and eventually, well, the guy is fat. 50, he's fifty-one or fifty-two. Then he shouldn't be wrestling in singles matches. Well, you matches. stick up for Soraya, and I said she doesn't do anything. And you're nope, like, she does. She, she, she does. Back. I'm like, they'll be out there. She does. Well, Soraya, I didn't see her in Tony Storm. Soraya. Well, I would have been rooting for Tony Storm. Well, also, Soraya is only thirty years old. I hate her name. Where did they even come up with that? That's her real name. Soraya. Soraya. Yeah. What's well, her mom's name? Oh, uh, the redheaded. Broad with the tattoo tent, right? <laughs> oh God, yeah. We guess, just, we need more of those those people. Because her mother was Sweet Soraya when she was a wrestler. So. Oh, she was a wrestler. You could hardly tell when you looked at her. Are you Are you joking? Yes. Because again, she's like a third generation wrestler. I mean, I wouldn't be saying that if she was in front of me, because I'm sure the mother could kick my ass. But whatever. Yeah, I will scream until you hear until I hear the police sirens. Uh, well, Next match. Okay. Um, no. Well, I gotta tell you how this ended because it was oh, a big Sammy swerve at the end. Yeah. So at the end, 
Um, it had a really choppy looking finish where Sammy does the sh- Sammy did the shooting star press. Now the really? shooting star Sammy doesn't do anything for me either. Now the shooting star press is my favorite move in pro wrestling uh, when it's done well. Mine uh, is the Phoenix Splash, like by a Seth Rollins or Hayabusa or something. Or uh, Pac too. Okay. Now okay. Sammy does not do a good shooting star press. Sammy doesn't do anything for me. Well, consider this thing: Sammy doesn't sell. He kind of just jumps all over the place. This is Jericho. That's uh, the problem. You got two guys in a room. Two, two guys are going to sell. Now, um, my They're guys are going to make each other look really strong. Because guys do. Because like guys who do a good like um, a a good oh crap. What was the move I just talked about? Shooting, shooting star Talk press. press. Guys that do a good. To me too. Don't worry. Would you get all guys? The guys, guys who do a good shooting star press. Guys yeah. like uh, Matt Seidel when he was Evan Bourne, the Airborne. Mark Mara back in the day. I have. His Even as Johnny B. Bad, he did a really good one. Uh, not everybody did the move back then. AJ Styles, when he was AJ in TNA, Styles. did them when he was younger. AJ does that springboard 450, like, off the apron. That's another yeah. hard move. I remember when I first saw, I think, Two Cold Scorpio was the first one I saw do that. Bro- Brock Lesnar, when he was young, when he did the shooting star press. When yeah, he was in OV. He almost, well, he did it at WrestleMania 19, too. And he almost died. Yeah, and he missed. No, the fact well, that he didn't get crippled. Well, I was well, I'm surprised. Just, well, I'm just talking about like when he did it in OVW, when he did it across the ring diagonally. Um, yeah, like coast to coast. Or something. Yeah, yeah, coast to coast shooting star press. But anyway, Sammy's does not look good. It just does not. He doesn't get the airtime on it, so it looks like it's just kind of choppy. You know, it doesn't look fluid. I'll have to go back and watch it. I have it on me. But the then, VR. like, he's going in, and I don't know if you've seen Jericho's Code Breaker. Yeah, it, it's almost well. The thing is that Sammy... As he's got older, it's more like he's falling down and taking you with him. Yes, that's what it looked like. That's what it fucking looked like. Oh, God. Because Sammy's doing the shooting star press, and it looks like he's trying to... He does, he does the code breaker, and then he pins him. But, like, I saw the replay. He barely even touches him when he does the code breaker. He, like, slaps the back of his head. But then at the very end, they hug, you know, like... And then Sammy knees him in the balls. And then yeah, pushes him down. Yeah, people were saying on Reddit the minute they saw the Jericho tights, they were like, oh, that's a nod to WrestleMania 19. Somebody's getting kicked in the dick. And then guess who comes <laughs> out? Called it. Guess who comes out? Um, Don Callis. Don Callis comes out from backstage, oh. and Sammy's joining up with him. So it's Sammy. T- and Takeshita. Take a shit. And Osprey. And Osprey. They're the Don Callis family. And now, then, Sammy sucks, though. But then, and then they, that was a match that was set last night for Wrestle Dream. Yeah, it's going to be them against Omega, Abushi, and Jericho. Which, now again, the Jericho and Omega thing, that's a nod back to whatever Wrestle Kingdom it was, where it was Painmaker Jericho. Yeah. That was the, the impetus for AEW. That was where I, I saw how fat Chris had gotten. He's fat! Uh, no, no, but see, like, Chris got fat. And then he got thin, and then he got fat again. And then he got thin, and then he got fat again. You lose weight like that, these guys. I know, but... Pills and shit. No, well, guys... Uh, and then we had MJF versus Samoa Joe. Which, which I heard MJF won Yes, and choked him out. Yes. So that's the end of that program? Yes. That sucks. I did not see the match, so I cannot speak to it. Well, I didn't either, but... Um, the fact that they go all the way back to Joe pushing him out of the way at NXT... You know, In using, NXT? Yeah, MJF was at NXT. No. All these guys are in NXT. I don't know. He was backstage playing a part of somebody else where Joe was NXT champion. Yeah. And he, Joe used to come out like Goldberg. Like yeah. coming out. And he just pushed him out of the side. And that's what he did to him at All Out. Too. Yes. That's, yeah. But they could have ran with this for a all while. Out. Oh, at All Out he did that, I thought. But anyway. No, it was All Out. It was uh, the other week. No, but Jer- No, but then Samoa Joe, I was reading this thing that apparently he is supposed to be one of like the safest workers in the business. Yeah. Like he's supposed to be one of the most reliable people to work with. Like they no, interviewed him too about the pump thing, and he basically say? just said, "He goes, ain't none I ain't seen backstage before." He goes, "A lot of people said they were uncomfortable." He goes, "I personally wasn't, but no, because okay." But now, Joe's also like, you know, I'll kick any of your asses here, so he could kick Punk's ass. Sure he could just sit on him. He could be like Andre when he sat. When on I him. heard the thing about where Punk didn't want to hurt Jack Perry because he was a, and if you people out there can't see my air quotes when I do this. Trained I'll, fighter. Trained fighter. Because of his two MMA fights Did that he you lost. see either one of them? No, but I know he lost them. The one I, I was dating a girl, and she was pissing on it the whole time because she didn't like wrestling, you know. And I don't think I talked to her after that night either. But she, he wrestled Mickey, he fought Mickey Gall. Mickey Gall, he was not Gall. 
He didn't even stop chewing his gum. He beat the <laughs> shit out of him. Punk cried. I know. And, I mean, he's lucky they took him back in wrestling. Uh, yeah, well, because then, okay, that was Dynamite Grand Slam. Rampage Grand Slam, I did not watch. Uh, you want to hit it up real quick and just go over and look at the matches? Might as well. No, well, I want to talk about Collision last night. All right, talk about Collision. Collision. Skip Rampage anyway. Uh, collision. Now, there was a really funny promo with the Kingdom, who are starting. I heard about this. Who are starting to grow on me because they're the whole thing where they're Roderick Strong's friends because Adam doesn't want to hang out with him anymore because he's friends with MJF, and the whole thing is that they're talking about being next strong because Roderick Strong. Yes. He's like, we're next strong. You got best friends. You do not respect proper neck health. Because they're having a match on Collision for a shot at the Ring of Honor tag titles. No headlocks for Neck Strong. I don't know. Is that the name uh, of their tag team, Neck Strong. Okay, well, no, what's the Kingdom? But oh, oh, yeah. so now we got uh, Matt, yeah Matt Cade and Mike Bennett. Yeah, where, Adam Cole was in it back in Ring of Honor. And Matt know. Hardy, but he got paid twenty thousand dollars per appearance. For what? I don't know. <laughs> But I thought um, he had to pay them twenty thousand dollars. Like, wait, you got to pay him twenty thousand? Oh my god! Okay, now here's the card for Wrestle Dream. All right, let's go over this because I would really like. I love these cross promotional angles with Japan. Yeah, this I is really their best do. shit. All right, uh, break it down for me. A- so, okay, now this is still subject to change. Always. Um, now because last night I was worried because, oh whoa, that's a good nice. I'm gonna have to buy this poster. Um, this, well, that was a good poster. Yeah, it's a good that poster. What? What has it got everybody on it or something? No, it only has two people on it. It only has the main event, but it's going to be one of the best matches ever. What's the main event? Danielson versus Zack Sabre Jr. Yeah, but then you just told me the one guy beat Sabre Jr., and I thought that was terrible. Who beat Sabre? I don't know. We were talking about it earlier. Chuck Taylor. That was like 10 years ago. Yeah, Chuck Chuck Taylor shouldn't have any wins under his belt. No, but um, what happened last night was they had Ricky Starks versus Brian Danielson in a Texas death match. Which, that's a great match to have, because you don't see this. Did they do it with brass knuckles? They don't use brass knuckles. They oh, that's not. the way they used to do it in Florida. I know, but... Brass knuckles, I know you know 90 that. minutes. No, oh. but they no, but the way they do it is you got to be down for a 10 count. Yeah, it was the 10 counts. And, you know, there's no... There's... If there is a time limit, I mean, it, it's always in the main event, and they'll just say, we'll stick with this till it's done. And yeah, which they know it's going to be done like 5 after 11 or 5 which after 10, whatever. Which sucks for me because with the YouTube TV now, the recording's weird and it cut out right before the finish. You I can't change it, it with extra time? I don't know. I have to figure that out. Because that's what you do with Comcast. I mean. But, yeah, but Danielson beat him and I'm watching it where they're hitting each other with chains and he yeah. got hit in the head with the ring bell. And I'm just watching the whole thing. I'm like, please don't get hurt. Please don't get hurt. Please don't get hurt. Yeah, don't get hurt again before a main event. Yeah. Well, because well, because when he was going to fight Okada, they didn't. They had him stay on the bench for like a month. He was doing commentary because they did. They, they like wrapped him in bubble wrap. Yeah, and then he got hurt in, in the actual match. Yeah, but then that just made him more legendary when he beat oh, him, yeah. when he beat him with a broken arm. He's lucky. Because well, I mean, obviously they had him booked to go over anyway. Yeah, but so, but here again. The, I think the next year is just going to be Danielson going over having all these great matches. Like I'm I shame you won't have him against Punk, though, because when they wrestled in WWE, I think at 11 or 12, and they had a double pin the one time, yeah. they have great matches. They could be like, you could keep them apart forever and bring them back whenever you needed something, and they would always be good. Kind of like FTR and the Bucks? Yeah, or like Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels, something like that. But um, the one thing was that I've been reading some people think, and I hope this is true, that him and Okada are going to have their rematch at Wrestle Kingdom. Hmm. Um, Wrestle Kingdom, whatever it is, 20. Or we're getting I don't know. where it's we're be at. January 4th, right? It's only yeah. January 4th. Well, because their main event's Naito versus Sonata. And yeah, then, Mr. Naito, G1 Clarex winner, doesn't even get a sniff on the PWI 500. But that just, but I think that says more about the PWI 500 than it does Naito. I know. I but, feel bad for Naito. I, was I know he's older and his career's widened now, but that's still quite an accomplishment. Yeah, you win a major tournament or a major title, like my Seth Rollins argument for number one is winning the world title the thing with Cody. He Logan Paul. He's had one good program after another. Yeah. Well, um, what was this? And I also still think that because Will Osprey, he must have put this out on Twitter. He made some statement. He says, "Oh yeah, I could beat Brian Danielson." So I'm hoping that they, that Danielson. And I Osprey, think he could beat Brian Danielson. Though. Well, He's younger, first of all. Well, well, saying you could beat someone in wrestling, that's nothing. This is all work, remember? Yeah, I know. It's all when fake. you're watching it, you're not supposed to be thinking that. I know, but, like, 
I think that they need to have a match. You know how good that would be? Sure. I, I would love to see And that. I think, and, I, and they still need to do it. Osprey against anybody. Like I said, I got excited for Jericho, even though I knew it was going to be. Osprey could wrestle that Coca-Cola can right there, and it would be a four-star match at least. Well, that just says a lot for Dave Meltzer's you know, star rating. So, Whatever. Next uh, match. No, but um, with Osprey, uh, I would very much like to um, see him wrestle Danielson. But oh, sure. this is So this the, these are the announced matches so far. Danielson versus ZSJ. Okay. In a singles match, just regular match. Hangman Adam Page versus Swerve Strickland. I heard about that. That's going to be good, because those are two guys you can just put well, on. Well, yeah, Hangman match. can wrestle, and Swerve was good in that double coffin match. i got to give it to him. Yeah, we, we, I mean, I didn't know a lot about Swerve going into that. He's um, He was in NXT. Yeah. He was the North American champion, you know, like their secondary title. Yeah, I remember that. I think he was like Isaiah Cassidy Swerve Scott. Something. No, Isaiah Cassidy's in AEW. Who's I say? Oh my God! What's the matter with me? You're right, Swerve Scott. Yeah, and then he. They left. all got too many goofy fucking names. Well, they got to change their names for every company because WWE trademarks all their names. Well, listen, it actually is their real name, like Brock Lesnar or John Cena. No, well, sometimes no, but no, but if you use your real name, they can still trademark it. Like China, China was her real middle name. She couldn't use it. They anymore. trademarked Cody Rhodes forever. He was Cody. Remember? Yes. Which is why, if you're in WWE, you shouldn't use your real name. You should always use a fake name. Because, like, in AEW, they don't trademark your name. Your name's yours. Nobody trademarks your name except WWE. Exactly. But that, like, that, Jim Hurd would have loved being in WWE these days, man. Jim he Hurd. Ric Flair being Spartacus. And would have been a damn thing he could do about it. FTR versus Aussie Open for the Tag Team Championship. I don't know about that. I didn't think... I don't know if it was because they were against the comedy duo of Better Than You Baby... But I didn't think nothing of them at all in wrestling, Cole. And, no, uh, they're very think. good. They are very good. Well, then I'll hold my expectation until now, I watch this. This is a weird one. Better Than You, Bebe, versus The Righteous from Ring of Honor, Vincent and Dutch. Who the fuck are they? I don't know. Only one of Where them. Where are they getting these guys from? <laughs> like, there's think about Ring of Honor. There's guys there on AEW, and then there's these other fucking guys that you, just, you don't hear about them until they announce them. They like, wrestle on like the Honor Club show that no one watches. Yeah. Okay. So, How is it a club if there's no one in it? it so the righteous, because I, I remember they had a match without honor at, against the Dark Order, and that's where they oh, took Christ. out they, they, four guys you could care less about. What the Dark Order and those guys? I mean, I don't even know who they. No, are. well, because because it was the two of these guys and Stu Grayson who used to be in the Dark Order, and now he's in the Righteous. What? Stu Grayson. Somebody else took him in? <laughs> no, was so, he homeless or something? So, Dutch here doesn't even have a hyperlink to another Wikipedia page. Vincent... Oh, is there a Wikipedia page? Loser. Vincent Marsigelia. Oh, he was an Impact. He was a member of Honor No More, which was basically like the Ring of Honor refugees. Like when ROH first shut down. Oh, uh, like Gresham and Bandito and everybody left. Yeah, they had yeah. like... And they went to Impact, and there was the Honor No More faction. It was this guy, uh, the Kingdom. Uh, gr- it was a bunch... Again, again, they were refugees. Bums. Bums. The Kingdom... No, you see, the Kingdom are funny. Like... Yeah, but I'm not doing this to be, like, to laugh half the time. Chris Jericho and the Golden Lovers. Yeah, that's a terrible name. Versus... It's a great name. They're a good team. But versus the Don Cows family. Takeshita, Sammy Guevara, and Will Osprey with Don Cows. I guarantee Guevara takes the pinfall loss, and then they throw his ass out. Hopefully. Because Takeshita and Osprey are good wrestlers. But... Osprey's not doing it, right? No, Osprey's in the match. He's part of the Don Cows family. Wait, he's wrestling with them? He's wrestling with the Don Cows family. It's Osprey, Takeshita, and... Sammy Guevara... Versus oh. Jericho, Omega, and Ibushi. Oh, Sammy Guevara ruins the whole match. Anybody but him. Dude, take a shit, Osprey, and a crockpot. <laughs> Don't put Guevara in there. Do a, I might be Don Callis for Halloween. I know, you were talking about that. You get the, like, the rose-tinted glasses, the pink shirt, black jacket, black pants. You can do it. Sparkly shoes. You got a little uh, skin cap for the head? Talk, no, 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 well, I could just be Cyrus the Virus. When he had long hair. Get that. You need to listen to me for the Halloween costumes. Remember when you wanted to be Bob Crane one year? I said you dressed like Colonel Hogan with a bloody head wound. And then a guy behind you walks around with a bloody camera and a tripod. No one knows who did it still. 
Oh, the other guy has to be John Carpenter, the guy that used to shoot the dirty movies. Well, yeah, but John Carpenter didn't kill him. Well, they don't think he did. I honestly don't. I don't know. I have a documentary about that. If you want to say <laughs> it. Anyway, that could be a whole podcast. Colonel Hogan, <laughs> sexual deviant. Next match: Christian Cage versus Darby Allen. Two out of three falls match. Got my attention. Katsuyori Shibata versus Eddie Kingston for the Ring of Honor World Title and the Strong Openweight Title. Why does Shibata get a title shot? Does he know he's getting the title shot? You know, he has to throw those shots to the head. God, that's <laughs> not why. That's not I always why, say that because it makes you mad. That's not why he's in AEW. He's in AEW. and he got lost on the way back to Japan. No, the because AEW. there was a match at one of the Wrestle Kingdoms where he went off script. And as punishment... I heard something happened to him, though, and they were concerned about it. He got hit in the head. That's not what I read. Well, I read that somewhere else. I read that. I did read what you're talking about, the off script thing. That, again, that he's basically over here as punishment. I don't um, at least bring it up to piss you off. Chris Statlander versus Julia Hart for the, the women's match. I'll be in the bathroom for that one. They're both really good wrestlers. I don't care. I'll be and in the bathroom. Then a four way tag team match for a future tag team championship shot. Young Bucks versus the Guns. Versus the Lucha Brothers versus Orange Cassidy and Hook. Four teams? God, that's a lot. What do you mean it's a lot? It's a lot at one time. Is it everybody can tag anybody in, too? They usually do? Uh, yeah, yeah. there'd be like two guys. But is it elimination? Way. No. See, that's what sucks. If it's elimination, I like it because it drags it out longer. And you pick one guy, the team's done. You pick, no. you know, if you pick Road Warrior Buck, Balding Buck leaves, too. No, well, no, no. That's how it is. If one guy so gets pinned... So it's elimination? Pinned, okay, so it's elimination then. That if one guy gets pinned... Well, no, well... If one guy gets pinned, the match is over. Okay, so it's not elimination. All right. they, if they did elimination, one guy gets pinned from the team, the team's out. And then the match... Like Survivor fired. Series type of shit. Oh, okay, I don't watch Survivor Series. Only watch, the only Survivor Series I've ever watched is when they did War Games last year. I used to watch 87 all the time. I had it on VHS. Was that the one where... where that's the Bob, first one. Was that the one where Bobby Heenan wrestles? No, that's 89. The one I was telling you about where Tully got fired? Yeah. Yeah, that was 89. 87, I had it on VHS for years. Okay, now, um, next topic. I want to talk about New Japan Destruction in Kobe, which happened... Yeah, I didn't know about this until you were talking about it at dinner tonight. I, didn't I know always figured it out after I took my break from playing Baldur's Gate 3 for like six hours on end today, and I went and checked my phone. Now, right. I'm not what sure. Do, what I'm, do you got? I'm not sure if this happened last night or this morning. Well, who but, knows with the time difference? And that's the one thing. But they announced for Elimination Chamber. It's going to be in Perth, Australia. I heard. It's going to be at like 6 a.m. here. I know. Too bad I'm not even going to watch it. <laughs> uh, what, what was Elimination Chamber last year? That's when they did Zayn versus Reigns, and Zayn lost. I forget where it was. But that was a hell of a build. That was in Montreal because it yeah. was Zane's hometown, and they had him lose. Well, they weren't going to have just Roman lose to him. I mean, that, like to have him lose and then win the title back on Raw the next night—that's like a real. They don't do that anymore. They still do it all the time. They even did that with Austin. Remember, they had Kane beat him in a first blood match at King of the Ring, and the next night, Austin talks about another match and he wins the belt back. Acknowledge me. It's the dumbest tag. <laughs> it's the dumbest catchphrase ever. You know what the best catchphrase ever is? Orange Cassidy's. My name is Freshly Squeezed Orange Cassidy, and I do not have a catchphrase. Yeah, I did like that when he said that. that that's his catchphrase. I like that. So, this was... Ah, it's the mascot. That's not his fucking name. God, you get so angry. Like, you like you know these fuckers personally. Okay, now, for some reason, the results are not posted on their official... Okay, wait. I have to, like, skulk around for this. Okay. What, do you have to translate Japanese, though? Uh, no, but, like, it's not on their, like, official, like, results page, so I have to look it up, like, from right You said Google. you didn't know this is yesterday or today, right? The results? Is that what you said? Yes. Now... All right, because we have to tell everybody, this is going to be on Thursday, but we're recording yes. it Sunday. Now, because, no, because NJPW's, like, English language website is terrible. I know. Kevin used to let me borrow his uh, password to get on there. Okay, the undercard. Okada and Ishii... Versus ZSJ and Bad Dude Tito. Who's Bad Dude Tito? He was in WWE. As who? Um, well, let me look. Some at these fucking names these guys with Bad Dude Tito. Let me look <laughs> it up. I think. Uh, was he in? I can't wait to hear who this was. Uh. What 
I thought that he was Bronson Reed. No, Bronson Reed's still wrestling. Oh, no. I'm thinking of Jonah. Jonah's Bronson Reed. Oh, I don't know who you're talking about, though. Never mind. Skip it. Doesn't even matter. Okay. <laughs> um. Here we got Hiromu Takahashi and Bushi versus Leo Rush and Yo. Leo Rush. Can't <laughs> get rid of him. He's like he's like a cold sore. He just keeps coming back. Like Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> herpes. Yeah, Jeff Jarrett's herpes. He is herpes. He's the herpes of wrestling. He makes that show look like every time he struts out there to that music <laughs> with his ugly wife and his whole... He makes it look like TNA. Talk but that's to- probably secretly what he wants. He, he wants everything to look like that bullshit he made. He talking my world, my world. And then get on his podcast and talk about how he broke all those guitars and never drew a dime over these years. Gave himself six title reigns with the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. Uh, Tamatonga, Tongaloa, Hikaleo, El Fantasmo, and Giotto. Is that the Girls of Destiny, right? Yes, Hockey's and El kids. Fantasmo. Versus David Finlay, Chase Owens, Alex Coughlin, Gabriel Kidd, and Guido. That's Fit Finley Jr., right? Or it's Fit Finley's son, right? Yes. David Finley, yes. Yeah. Um, Jado and Guido are on opposite sides, opposite sides now? Yeah, Jado's They go back to those FMW tapes I have. David again. They were in all Japan. Yeah. They, no. They've been around forever. Yeah, well, because well, Guido's the head booker. Yeah, so. he's been. Sonata, Daoki, and Takamishinoku. Speaking of Taka Michinoku. Taka is coming, motherfucker. I was just speaking of Taka. I just found on YouTube, I was watching the, the clip where they cut, where they castrate. Um, Val Venus. Yeah. Where they drew. They, it's a we didn't, I told you, but we watched it. We didn't know what happened. And there was no Smackdown. So you had to wait a whole week to find did out You, what you had to actually think that they cut his dick off. No, but it was crazy when they came in and it's like, look like... Looked like when they came in when they executed that guy on TV in the Vietnam War. Like, he's just hanging there. You can see his whole ass. It was live. And he's like, well, now- Hassan, chop! And he's ready. Oh, my God. Well, that would censor whatever you find. It's all pic- His ass is pixelated. But well, You know what? Speaking of Raw, you know what Raw I have that you'll never find anywhere? The Chris Benoit Memorial Show? Oh. <laughs> Talk about... That show invented the term cringy. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Where they did it, like... As they you were investigating. Were in, but you found out about an hour in that he killed them. And they had there. to be backstage, Kevin Dunn, with his buck teeth. <laughs> we gotta turn this stuff off. <laughs> yeah, you can't find it anywhere. Now, like, because, like, on the WWE Network, it's just it's like a highlight episode. No, they don't even show it. They don't even have it on there. No, but, like, like where that episode would be, it's a highlight episode. Well, they had all his good matches on him, too. They had, like, Road Wild against Malenko and all that stuff. Meanwhile, there's nobody in the arena because they canceled the show because they blew up McMahon's car a week before. They he was killed supposed him. to be dead. He killed. has to come out and make it look phony. They killed because him. Because somebody really did die. It was like where they had... It's like where Rikishi ran over Stone Cold. Yeah. Which apparently... Or where made... Triple H drug Mick all the way to the Royal Rumble on the, on the street. In the car. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, go back to the match. Tiger Mask, which we're on Tiger Mask 4... Team. <laughs> what? No, Tiger Mask 40, right? And Kevin Knight versus Clark Connors and Drilla Maloney. So what are they, Bullet Club guys? Yeah. Does they don't even care about the Bullet Club anymore other than Jay White and... Jay, Jay White's Hart. not even in the Bullet Club. He's Bullet Club gold. Yeah, but that's a totally different thing than Bullet Club in Japan. Oh. Okay. It's, it's kind of like NWO, NWO Japan. Like, they weren't really connected just by name. They were connected, you know? Yeah, they were, they, they were connected by Buff Bagwell. He was in both. Buff Bagwell, <laughs> Vicious and Delicious. Oh, great tag team game. Did I ever tell you about the Puffles, Whips, and Buff match that he invented? No. In, um, I'm World sure I'm going to wish you did. In World Wrestling All-Stars. No, no, I'm not doing this again. Go back to the Kirk Japan thing. I don't want to hear anything about World Wrestling All-Stars. I want one week where that doesn't come up. <laughs> and you ruined it. Next, next match. Um, Sonata, uh, Daoki and Taka versus Evil... Yujiro Takahashi, the Tokyo Pimp, and him. Dick Togo. Dick Togo. He's still around. You know, I tried downloading him in one of the 2K games. And he it just says, like, star, 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 Togo. Yeah. I do it in the MLB games, too. You can't have, like, Dick Allen or, like, you know. Dick was a popular name for years. <laughs> yeah, it just means Richard. Yeah, that's um, all. It's like in um, this one game about the Middle Ages I play, Crusader Kings. You have the Sassanid Empire in, like, the Middle East. It'll say... S dash 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 in it. It won't put the ass in there. Wow. Everything's so sanitized. That's what I was... Uh, Makes me ill. 
Anyway, continue. Okay. Um. Okay, I do not have the full card on here, but I can tell you about the rest of it. Okay. Um, what happened was it, they had a, a, like, king of pro wrestling. They have, like, a trophy. Yeah. It was Tai Chi versus one of the guys versus Sho. And, I heard it, actually. And then all the guys on the outside, to stop, like, interference, they handcuffed the Just Five Guys members to the House the of Burger Torture Joint? members. Five Guys Burgers? <laughs> it's a stable. Oh. It's it's like... Has nothing to do with the burgers? No. All right, go ahead. They, they all got handcuffed to each all other, right but then Yoshinobu Kanemaru got free. Oh, I know that name. And then he We went had, to different schools together, me and but, Yoshi, whatever his name is. And then he took a bottle of whiskey, and it looked like he was going to hit... But then he turned heel, and he hit... Um, tai Chi over the head with it, and he joined House of Torture. Oh crap! <laughs> so now it's just so now it's just four guys. Just four guys instead of just five guys. Oh, well, they probably get sued by the burger people anyway. And then the main event was Yoda Suji versus Will Osprey. For the, I heard Will was in the main event. Yeah. For the IWGP United Kingdom title, uh, and Osprey won. Apparently, it was like a five-star match. It was amazing. Oh, it's Will. I mean, come on. Of course it is. And Yoda Suji's great, too. He had a really good match with Sabah. I bet you I'm going to have to get that off of one of those sites. Which I got. Yeah. Um, and then but then after the match, Zack Sabre Jr. came out. And they set up a challenge for Wrestle Qu- for Royal Quest. Is like their UK pay-per-view. Royal Quest. Is that like a... Is that like a- so, it sounds like an RP. About Wrestle Quest, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. We're talking about Wrestle Quest or Wrestle Quest or Roll Quest, whatever it is. They're, yeah, I said it sounded like an RPG. Yeah. Sorry, we got cut off by a second there. I. Yeah, it's their UK pay per view, and ZSJ challenged him to a match there, which again, Will's probably going to lose that title, but because again, I still think that Will's going to go to AEW. I know you don't think he is going to because he's mad at the tattoo thing, and he also says that he doesn't want to live in America, but wrestlers. That don't live in America wrestle on AEW all the time. Pac doesn't live in America. Um, and also, if they pay him enough money, I'm sure that'll smooth over anything. Oh, sure. Um, Tony Khan. What if WWE swooped in and got him at the last minute? I don't think well, he'd don't go say there. they don't have the money. I don't think he'd go there. Jay White didn't go there. Nah, I wouldn't go there either. Cre- Creativity wise, no. Now, moving on from that, we had WWE. What is talk about the releases? Yeah. Is, that what, is that what you have on our list? I got the releases, and I got two more things after that. But the releases, the main things I saw... Wait, well, let me just get these up. Well, I wrote I, down the main people that I was concerned about them losing. Because some of them I could have given a shit. Like, even that Mustafa Ali, I don't even fuck he is. I think he's going to New Japan. Now, some of these... Okay, so let's Vince go... Vince Russo, bro, thinks he's going to be the first one AEW snatches up. But, since he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, and never has... <laughs> And he's a fucking retard the way he talks. Don't say that word, please. Uh, I won't say it again, but he is one. What did you say? He can't find his ass with his own two hands? He couldn't find his ass with both hands and a road mat. <laughs> no. But no, his ass from his elbow. So, he was walking through a men's locker room. He'd be whistling Stranger in Paradise. So I'm going to... That sounds homophobic, but I'm going to go through these wrestlers and you tell me whether or not you think they should have been released. Dolph Ziggler. I want to say no, but they weren't doing anything with him anyway. I'd like to see him go somewhere else. So I'm I'd like okay to see him in AEW so he can go with Ryan Nemeth and he can be... He can help his brother out. Nikki! Mikey! Kenny! And we are the, the Spirit Squad! Alright, anyway. Elias slash Ezekiel slash Elrod. That actually made me laugh. That was hilarious. More Kevin Owens is acting than anything. Because his facial expressions, like he actually thought it was two people. Do you think he should have been released? Kevin? No. no oh, is he? Yeah, I don't give a fuck about him. Now, Mustafa Ali, I know you don't really care about I don't him. really know who he is. He's a really good in-ring wrestler. Did they get rid of the cross-eyed Indian guy looks like he's from Street Fighter? Veer Mahan? Veer Mahan, that's the name. No, they him? no, no. They he got survived? Him. Yes. I think so. They Does are... he know they didn't cut him? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... no, but they did cut, like... The guy that they put with them, Shanky. Oh, another yeah, Another yeah, Indian yeah. guy. It's all right. Now, here's another... Now, I think... Because... Now, now, here's a sad one. 
Shelton Benjamin. Yeah, I had him on my list because he's a hell of a worker. Brock Lesnar's college roommate. And they were the Minnesota stretching crew in OVW. No, because what's funny is like he's always in like the background of shots. Well, now he is, but he was from that tag team with Charlie Haas. World's greatest tag team? When they went to Ring of Honor, they were great. They were in New Japan, too. Yeah, but they started, they were Team Angle. I would like to see him go to AEW. I think they could do some good stuff with him. Uh, yeah, but you don't just take up... See, you don't just bring these guys in because you I think don't he want them be a going good trainer else. Or, Well, yeah, a coach, like they're talking about, yeah. Ziggler, too. Ziggler's been around forever. Top dollar. Don't even really know who he is. Yeah, don't, uh, don't know. Mad Cat Moss. Who uh, cares? Rick Moss. Emma. Aaliyah. Ugh. Rick Boogs. I, I, Shinsuke nope. Nakamura, sidekick. Oh, who cares? Uh, Quincy Elliott. A so lot he of the guy, the musician? Yes, he's got oh, a that's guitar. that's Quincy Jones. Never mind. Uh, no. no, no, no well, famous Rick Boogs plays the guitar. Yeah, I know Rick Boogs does. Bryson Montana. Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke was like, they brought her in. I was telling Christine about this earlier. They brought her in to be the manager of, what was it, Anderson and Gallows. Yeah. And they brought her out. And she's just a chubby blonde girl. You know, chubby. My thing. Whatever. <laughs> but then she got all this plastic surgery done. And I swear to Christ, I didn't even know it was her. She looks like somebody split her face with an axe <laughs> and they had to put it back together. It's awful. Uh, I was sad to see her go, Mason, but I'd love to watch her leave. Go ahead. Mason Mansois, the maximum male models. Oh, please. They, they, they were hilarious. They should have told them, said them walking years ago. They, they were hilarious, the maximum male models. Uh, Shanky. Yeah, you're talking about that one. Uh, Dabakato, a.k.a. Commander Aziz. Because they're tight. Uissa Leon. Sure. Daniel MacArthur. What were these people doing there? Like, A lot of them cleaning? Were, the janitorial staff? I don't know, I don't know who these people Kevin are. Kevin Ventura Cortez. Sure. Alexis Gray. I, uh, Brooklyn Barrow. Who? Is that like a Spanish Brooklyn brawler? <laughs> Eichmann Jaro. Eichmann? Jaro. They actually named him Eichmann? Spell it. How do you spell it? I, I think that's an I. I-K-E-N-E-N. I was going to say, they didn't spell it like the Nazi guy that, you know, gassed everybody. Uh, I'm... A- I could see them naming a Nazi wrestler, though. Not in this oh, day Oh, speaking age. of Nazi wrestler. The Imperium. <laughs> have you ever seen the scholars just video about him? There's this one Finnish wrestler in, like, the early 90s. Who oh, like, Ludwig Borga. <laughs> yeah. Tony Hava. Yeah, he killed himself. <laughs> no, but he was... A, he, he ended Tataka's undefeated streak. Yeah, no, but he was a Nazi. He had an SS yeah. tattoo. He had to wear these weird... I, I just read about that recently. He wore, like, a singlet. But he had to wear he long pants like, and high boots because he had a Nazi tattoo on him. He that. also had a tattoo on his ass crack that said exit only because he was homophobic. Yeah, he was a stranger. He wound up shooting himself or something. He was, something's wrong with him. Well, obviously, if he's a neo-Nazi, something's wrong with him. Well, well sure, but uh, everybody's got to have a hobby. Go ahead. And the final one, well, we got Abu Abadi Fitzgerald. Uh... <laughs> Where do they come up with it? Like, where do they come up with these names? They have to have some kind of science to this. Who came up with Duke the Dumpster Drosy? Why, wow, that's alliteration. That's easy. Duke Dumpster Drosy. I'll start with D. Or Darren Drozov. That's his name. <laughs> Go ahead. And the last one, which I agree with, Matt Riddle. Because he's, he's a liability. He's another guy I would take a chance on with AEW, though. No, I don't. Because I, like, like I like the Hardy. way he wrestles. He's like a Jeff Hardy. Yeah, well, Jeff's still there, isn't he? Yeah, but he doesn't really wrestle that much. Because well, No, I don't think they should take a chance on Riddle. R- Riddle should go to, like, Impact or something with all the other people who need a job. That's, um, that's like going to the Arizona Cardinals in football. It's like <laughs> wrestling purgatory. It's where you go to die. That's where Gresham is. Gresham? Oh, Jonathan Gresham? Yeah. Well, he pissed off Tony. Didn't he yell at Tony? Yeah, he's blacked out on him. Walked out on him. Uh, okay, what other topics do you other have? Other topic, and I thought this was interesting. PCO gives <laughs> notice to Impact Wrestling. Who else is going to sign him? Like, did they even know he was still there? I don't know. He makes frequent appearances. He's like a pirate Frankenstein thing. I would bring, just because you have warmed me up to his gimmick. Why? If I was Tony Khan, I would book him for like, that's the kind of guy you would have wanted for that fucking Texas Chainsaw match. <laughs> it's kind of like... I think it was at like very early in AEW. Maybe even at like at the first double or nothing, they had like a battle royal. 
And yeah. they had like Tommy Dreamer was there and Glacier from oh, from WCW. Oh, you don't have to say anything after Glacier. I knew all about it. <laughs> it was, but they, I don't know where he thinks he's going. Like, did he who? inherit PCO? Did he inherit money or something? He's I just getting out? Who was the other guy in the Quebecers? Jacques Rougeau. What happened to him? He well, dead? he was older. No, he's still around. Him and Ray, who was older than him, his brother, were the Rougeau brothers. The fabulous Rougeau brothers. The PCO. Jean-Pierre Lafitte. The Quebecer. Quebecer Pierre, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, what else is going on? Let's see. We got Wrestle Dream. Uh, I don't know what's going on over in WWE right now. Uh, again, I, I saw The Rock come back. His, yeah. His comeback was pretty dumb. I don't really think you're going to like do a program and end Roman's streak with that. Well, cause, After all this work, and then this guy goes back to making shitty movies. Well, he's allowed to. I heard he's not... He lost a ton of money with the XFL. They're merging with the USFL now. What's the USFL? That's the other spring league, United States Football League. He used to actually be another league when oh, I was Oh, wait, there. really? The XFL is merged with the USFL? Yeah, he lost $60 million on it. USFL turned to profit. And, and, you know, and Black Adam, that was a shit show. Yeah, but uh, he got himself in Dutch with the DC people after trying, after lobbying for Henry Cavill to be in, in the end credit scene, and then they weren't going to use him anyway, you know, bring him back as Superman, so... But then there was... Um, uh, yeah, well, because, again, well, because I was seeing this thing of, like, they might not have Roman ever lose. They might just have him relinquish the title when he decides to leave well, and go to Hollywood. Still. And just have him never lose. Well, they could do that. That would be terrible. Well, I mean, like, I'm not, I mean, like, when I was a kid, Hogan was champ for four years. Flair was champ for, like, a year or two at a time. Yeah, but see, that... Flair was actually champ longer than four, I think. But see, yeah, in WCW. wrestlers are expected to like wrestle more nowadays. Well, yeah, but or at least like wrestling. I don't want to see a guy hold the belt for eight fucking years like Bruno San Martino. I don't want to see that. Well, because again, I like that he's held it longer than like you know a month. Because you see how you know how they do that. Well, because usually in AEW the reigns are at least like two hundred to three hundred days. Like yeah. Kenny Omega had like three hundred and like forty five days was his reign. He he had the longest reign, Kenny. It was yeah. from like December of 2020 to November he of 2021. He also was world champ of three different federations. Well, yeah. Impact's not really a federation. He was the belt collector. Now, Triple A though, holding the belt in Triple A too. That that that's an accomplishment. I would say so. He was the tallest person in that whole country, probably. <laughs> and Tony's no giant. He actually never lost that title. Nah, now he had to that. relinquish it because he got. He lost. What the happened game. to Impact? Did he just drop it because no. they were? The agreement was coming up, so he dropped it on the show. No, he? he lost a match to Christian Cage. Christian Cage had it, and then he lost it to Moose. He lost it on a show and stayed with... Because didn't Cage come over from Impact? Yes. And he stayed. No, well, Cage... Well, again, Christian Cage has been everywhere, multiple sure. times. And in 2020, he showed up at the Royal Rumble. And, yeah, I don't know. And reunited with Edge. And then... By March of 2020, he was in AEW. Yeah. So it was it must have been like a pay-by appearance. Sure. But when he was the Intercontinental Champion in WWE, he was allowed to go back to TNA for Slam Anniversary to, to do something the one time. But then they took some of the girls into Girls Royal Rumble. I remember Mickey James came out with the Impact title. Well, that's what they do with Carl Anderson recently. They let him go back to Wrestle Kingdom just to drop the Never Open Weight Championship yeah. after they signed him. But, um, no, with Christian, he had the title because... Kenny and Christian main evented All Out 2021. Yeah. and But before that, they had a match on the first ever Rampage where CM Punk debuted. Yeah, I saw dance. that. I saw that. They the, the main event of that show was Kenny versus Christian for the Impact title, where Kenny put his Impact title on the line, and Christian won. So that was like, you know, is he going to beat Kenny? Of course he didn't. But... And then nobody remembers that match, though, because right after that match was when Adam Cole and Danielson showed up. Yes. Which, You're right. I didn't remember that either until you just said that. Uh, All right, the last thing I want to talk about is you don't know about this, about the whole Kevin Nash and L.A. Knight feud. Kevin Nash has this podcast. I know, click this. Yeah, with Sean Oliver. He used to do um, kayfabe commentaries or whatever it was. And I, I like Sean a lot, but Kevin Nash... Oh, wait, Sean Oliver... I think he was the guy that was I was watching. He does thing. ring roasts. He does a whole bunch of no, shit. No, because I think I was watching the thing where he was doing the shoot interviews. Yeah. Where the guys were talking about ring rats. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. That, oh, yeah, that but was But he Arlen. does it with him. But Nash really comes off like... I'm sure he made a lot of money in the business. Apparently he handled his money the best out of a lot of I'm guys. I'm sure he is, but he's... He talks about L.A. Knight like he's ripping off The Rock and Steve Austin. And then goes on a tirade about how he talked to Triple H the other day, you know, because they're best friends. And he's talking about he can't... He's saying on his show that Hunter's saying that he can't give this guy money because he's not original. And I said, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? How many Kevin times... Nash was an original in WCW. No, he wasn't. And he was... He didn't draw a nickel as a champion. In WWF? Oh, my God. He's the lowest drawing champion of all What time. about WCW? When he was oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just... I, I think he was in the Wolf Pack. Yeah. The set, you're talking about... I mean, 95 when he was a champion, it was still a little like... Diesel? I know. Yeah. Or, or but he, he... No, he, he was Diesel. This is before he left. He, he lost to the Undertaker and then... Hall was better. Put over Michaels as champion and he split. What, when he was sober, Hall was... Um, Hall was a good worker. Wrestler. Great worker. When he was sober. Yeah. He had that... When, when, if he was sober. When he had that match with Sean, was it WrestleMania 10? Yeah, that's the first time. I had seen ladder matches before that off of like a compilation tape with Hart and Michaels from a house show. And I had watched old ladder matches from Stampede where they used like wooden ladders, like <laughs> fucking painting ladders. That cannot be safe. Bret Hart. It's like 1970s. Bret Hart's in them. But <laughs> Kevin Nash is pissing all over this poor guy and it's going to cost the guy... Money, probably. And I don't think he should be talking about on his show discussions about money with the other guy. Just because he's friends with them and they godfather each other's children or whatever. It's not... I I, I think that's fucked it's up. Like, I don't, I don't think... That is way over right now. Yeah, and the thing is, though, with Nash's podcast, you can't even listen to him. Because I don't know if he's high half the time because he is a big pot smoker. He's always talked about that. But I don't even want to listen to him. Well, it's kind of like, do you want to listen to Shane Douglas' podcast? I mean, there's people out there probably like, I don't want to listen to these two fucks. You know, well, it's like, they're talking, so. well, I mean, like, would you want to listen to Shane Douglas' podcast? Yeah, I actually like Shane Douglas. I do. I'm sure that's going to not win me any fans here because people... I don't get why... Triple H needs to go down on his knees and thank Shane Douglas every night because part of his gimmick with DX with the leather jacket and the hat is all stolen from the franchise. Even some of his promos. Who was his... Francine. Girl, Francine. It was Francine. And and that was his... Uh, Francine Fournier, her name was, yes. Right, because he was in ECW, and then he went to WCW. When no, 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 no. He left ECW, and he went to the WWF really? as Dean Douglas. He was a teacher, because he really was a teacher in real life. But the click shit all over him right away. Sean Waltman worked with him one night, and came backstage and went like this. That was it. That's they so- gave him the... Shawn Michaels gave him the Intercontinental title on a forfeit because he got beat up at a club. Suppose I don't know if Kay Faber he really did get in a fight. No, the, Shawn. The number of men it's been inflated over the years to beat him up. It was like army guys or something. So he has to go, you know, give the title to Douglas and Razor Ramon comes out and beats him for it right away. But the, the stuff that the guy, the, the stuff that the click did, the guys was so shitty. Um, yeah. No, but. Yeah, I mean, it's now, messed now, up. Now, what was that story you were going to tell me earlier about Macho Man fighting in a diner? Oh, the waffle? Yeah. That story? <laughs> yeah, what happened? You got to look it up, but it was in when they were in, I guess, the Memphis, Kentucky area. It would have been back when Randy was working for his father in ICW. And Randy was like 180 pounds. And they're eating at Waffle House. Because it's the South. There's Waffle Houses every two feet. Yeah, I know. So From driving down, they're going to Disney World. Yeah. There's Waffle Houses everywhere. So he goes to a Waffle House. Him and Dutch are eating at like, you know, midnight. Who's Dutch? Dutch Mantel is oh. the one telling the story. But he, he's in there with him. I read this when I was in Jamaica. I read it on my phone when, when, I, you in Jam- oh, yeah, for the when s- I got the second marriage. Okay. Keep up. There's only two, I think. Yeah, two. But um, We're on goes like 2.9 in there. Adam Finigo. Old guy walks in. Some big, fat, hillbilly guy with a hat on walks in and says, I just got married. Not bothering anybody. So Randy was like, who gives a shit? <laughs> Why? Why the guy's like, what'd you say? He goes... I said, who gives a shit? Why did Randy have to say that? Because he didn't want to hear it. And he got in the guy's face. They got in a fight. They brought the cop. The cops got called. Apparently, it ended with Randy. He got, he got bit by a, He got bit on the ass by a dog. At the end. <laughs> Police dog. But he was fending off all these cops <laughs> with like a butter knife. I mean, but he got in a fight with this guy. And there was like a mess. Did he get mass arrested? Panic. Yeah. yeah. But he got out of jail. It was like in that scene in... Um in the Batman, you remember, where 
he like he um where Jim Gordon tells him to beat him up and all the cops yeah chase that's him. pretty it's much like, what the Waffle House was like yeah <laughs> no but so like like it's like why do these wrestlers have to be so aggressive towards people in a restaurant it's I'm like the sure story, cocaine had something to do with it the story you told me about about Luna Vachon's uncle man dog the one I said I'm not gonna tell it again I told that on the I know, but first episode he threatened to stab someone. He wanted to eat in peace. <laughs> you took- I'm sorry. You walk into a restaurant. You see a guy who looks like that. He's missing teeth. He's bald headed. He's probably got scars all over his head. He looks like he does like New Jack. Like he said at the end of the bar when Phil's bartender. He said, "Take picture. Look who's in my bar." I said, "Don't go fucking near him." I would. I he go- stabbed Gypsy Joe for Christ's sake. I, I go to him. I'd say hi. Can I have your autograph? Sign it in your own blood on your foot. But anyway, that's all the time we have for this week. It'll have to wait for the next week. So. Sign you off! All right, good night, everybody. Get your hand off my penis!